Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Stella Glow. In the last episode, we went to Amatsu and Sakia put on an impromptu concert and we got the fire squad after battling with uh, Angel ba Angel Horde that came in the middle of that concert. Now in this episode, we shall be departing once again for the desert, the desert lands of Kashmistan and getting the final score. So let's get this, let's get this out of the way. So yeah, uh, this is pretty, pretty adventurous so far. I mean, it's kind of nostalgic. I actually made the point of, of going in order of the way we got the witches to, um, to, to do this. I thought it was, you know, rather nostalgic going back to a lot of these places like, like Misra, Port Noir, and Amatsu, and now back to the Kashmistanian Desert. So without any further ado, let's go forth and start this battle. All right, time will pass. All right, well, we shall just do that. This place is nothing but a sea of sand, as always. I guess angels in the eclipse don't matter here. In the desert, there are no people. In that sense, it's the safest place to be. You may be right, but we don't know what, what uh, what's out there. Let's proceed with caution. Majabalar. I didn't think I'd set foot here ever again. Shh. <laughs> what's wrong, Keith? I saw a shadow moving out there. It was probably just a desert mouse. I'm sure of what I saw. I, it was the shadow of a person. In fact, it was around the same size and shape as you. Me? Let's go after it. Wait, what if it's a trap? We have to go, Rusty. I just feel it. I mean, who would set a trap out here? I mean, who has left to set traps out here? Yeah, I think he's right. Well, I, I guess Klaus or Zeno could set traps, but I think he'd have done so in the other places by now. Let's go, everyone. It's unfair. So unfair. Are you going to leave me all alone and be happy by yourself? I spent this whole time crying with nobody to comfort me. It's unfair. So unfair. This place is... Why... It's unfair. So unfair. Mortimer, that's your shadow. I get it. I know what I have to do. Morty, I'm going to tune you. W why? Why here? There's no other place it can be. And considering we never truly tuned her. Here we go. This is... Kashmistan, three years ago. Why? The girl's illusion should have returned to the sand! Uh, calm down, Morty. It's just an illusion. But I didn't make this. No, I don't want to see it. No! Huh? Is that Morty? Stop! Stop destroying Kashmistan! Stop hurting everyone! Leave, child! Just justice is with me! Burn it! Burn it all to the ground! Mother! Nikki! Please wake up! Don't die! No! <sighs> Morty, don't look! Uh, no, Earthwitch! You have no choice but to watch! That voice. Open your eyes, Mortimort. Old man? Rodolph? Wh why are you here? Uh, 
Why do you close your eyes? These are your memories. Left behind, all alone in the desert? No, no, I don't want to see this. You're just going to forget about me? How could you forget desert? The desert, the time you spent here, the people you loved. You seem well, Hilda. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. What's going on here? I thought you were dead, Rodolph. Indeed I am. I was a pathetic it was a pathetic end, but it seems I was able to wound that man, at least somewhat. We survived because of you. Thank you, Rodolph. But Beardy, are you really a ghost? If I were a ghost, I would come back and kill Zeno once and for all. Unfortunately, it seems I remain a mere part of the Earth Witch's memory. Her strong memories are sleeping in this land. They are her other half. What are you? I want to forget. Why are you coming out again? Because I don't want to forget. And I don't want you to forget either. I don't know why what you're talking about. I'm sick of the desert, and I'm sick of you! Calm yourself, girl. The Earth Witch had her heart broken long ago. Her wounds have yet to heal. You think you can talk, you can talk, old man? You're the one who broke her heart in the first place! That is why I've chosen to tell you this now. Uh, ready your weapon, Earth Witch. You as well, Rusty. Shall we settle this? Yeah. I'm stronger now. I can definitely win. I will rise above you. That is a good attitude to have, Rusty. I am just glad I've got the chance to fight you again. Then let us begin! Run far away from here, girl. My contract is still in effect. It'll only be more trouble for me if you die. But... I won't let you go. I won't let you forget this desert. You will never lead a happy life. You shall fall with me. No. No! As long as I live, I'm not gonna let that happen. What in the world? So much is going on here! So we've got Rusty versus Rodolph, and uh, what's going on? So many, I have so many questions. Okay, Rusty defeats Rodolph, Mortimort defeats her shadow. Ooh, talk about irony. Um, where is her shadow anyway? Actually, wait, mission. Defeat Mortimort shadow. Okay, so this is how we get their score. Oh, don't tell me. We've got to go around again. We've got to go around the freaking town. Again. Like in the last time we did this battle. Okay, they're all Earth enemies, so, um... I forgot. Earth enemies are weak to wind attacks. So, Popo would actually be the best for this one for wind spells. And we want to give Mortimort, um... A storm orb. So, let's go to our orb screen. Um, we're gonna equip her with a storm orb. Alright, and... Mmm... Mmm... Do I have a better gun for her, actually? Um, okay, the rifle would, would lower... Ooh, ooh, hey, Ewan, I know I got you that, that, that fancy pants new rifle. However, with all those aim orbs, however, I'm not using you for quite a while. So, we're gonna switch these rifles out a bit. Um, so we can give Morty some good orbs. Whoops, sorry, that's alright. Good weapon with good orbs. So we're gonna give her the, um, R&B. And we're going to equip, um... We have an aim orb three already. We're going to put in the storm orb on her. Um, all right, storm orb. And let's go ahead and put a a uh, ooh a luck orb. Raise chance of a drop. Nah. How about we put in a attack orb? All right, that should be good. And for Keith, since he's required as well, uh, let's see. Do you have any equips on you? Um, oh, let's give you the zoom that bow there. And we'll just put another um, aim orb. I don't know if the aim orb ability is actually not. Let's put another storm orb. I think I have another um, storm orb. I do. So we'll give that to him. Mm, actually, no. I'll give that to Alto. Because I think having Alto with that 
would probably be the best option. Look at me, taking up so much video time, just explaining what I'm gonna do in my inventory. Oh, this battle's gonna go on for quite a while. Um, am I out of aim orbs? I am, okay. Um, let's go with a... Oh, okay, go for the absorb orb. <laughs> absorb orb, uh, okay. Um, orb, just remove that water orb, the river orb, and put the storm orb on you, Alto. And that should probably do it. Normally I cut this out, but hey, why not show it? Alright, not that. Let's go back to the battle. So we're gonna bring in... So no angels in this. You know, part of me does think this is gonna be a two-part battle where we tune Mortimer and then the angels come. But like, um... Um, I think it was, um, Keith said. There's no point of the angels showing up here, really. Okay, so we're gonna need Lizette in here as well, because you never know. You gotta have a medic. And, um... Hmm. Alright, and Nonaka. I just love having no Nonaka and Rusty out. They're probably the best party members available to us. Uh, no, for, I don't. didn't check to see what Rodolph's stats were, so this may be a bit, put us in for a bit of a pain. Alright, Altos defeated or Mortimer is defeated? Alright, there's a the boss. Mission stat. So, okay, so Rodolph is actually does not is not even a priority. Um, first off, Rodolph, how powerful are you? Level is 37, 900 HP. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I think I think we can probably take Rodolph on. Um, actually, I think I'll just have Sakia and Rust. That's like Nonaka and Rust. There I go again. Uh, go after Rodolph. All right, 41 damage, and then once they're done with that, we'll just have um come along back. Oh wow, two crits, nice. And then everybody else will take the long route up. Leave it to me. All right, there we go. Getting right up in parasol to him. Let's go for the B. Uh, the beehive would just hurt everyone, so nah. Let's go for the backstab. It's time. He will counter. Does Rusty have any healing? Okay, he does not have any healing items. Okay, that's fine. It's time. We'll see how this goes out for us. This is it. All right. I mean, he has 900 oh, HP. Me. Yeah. Great. I think I may have to keep people down here. I may. I may keep Lizette down here for now. So she can just keep Rusty alive. Uh. However, I don't know. Maybe we can actually defeat him beforehand. Oh, awesome. He missed. Alright. So Rusty has proven himself, I think. He's actually come a long way. Alright, we can't do anything there, but... Alright, we can snipe the crawler. Ooh, I wonder if our whirlwind can hit that one. It can. Ooh, yes, we're gonna go for the whirlwinds there. So having these wind, having these storm abilities will come in definite handy as we go forth. Alright, so this actually may not be too hard. I shouldn't say that now, because the boss may do something. Alright, um... We really can't go much up here anyway, so we'll just have to leave uh, Lizette there for now. Um, actually, can I move up a little bit more? I think I can actually heal Rusty. I'm just basically be feed in, um, Rusty HP. Here I go. Um, he's fine for now. Let's just leave, let's just leave, um, him there for now. No, 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 not attack. Wait. Actually, can she actually attack? Splash? She can. Here I go. All right, might as well, just to get, get the chip damage off of Rodolph. And the priority is to let Rusty defeat him. Um, should probably make us do a quick save state here, actually, just in case I do screw that up. I just have a All strange right, hunch I may screw that up, so let's do a suspend save here. All right. All right, let's move Alto across this poison water. Oh, it didn't do anything to us this time. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> Rodolph, is, his, his AI is prioritizing Rusty. You will not escape. Well, I thought we would have done something to that. All right, so he's at 428 HP. A few more turns and he should be taken out. Oh, we've got archers. Great. So making our way around town may be a bit, um, challenging at best. I don't know how long this battle is going to take. I don't know if I want to cut out any of the of this, of this battle. This may be a two-parter episode where I have to cut this out at some point. Because I... Here's the thing. So I'm having some friends over right now and they're pretty much still asleep. So that's why I'm, that's what I'm recording. Uh, while they're, you know, out and about. Alright, so I can't really do anything there. So move up for now. And wait. So, yeah, that's pretty much where, I'm, where it stands right now. So, 
and then I got to be at work later, so this may not be able to get a full thing in, in one shot. But we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't want to actually attack Rodolph with Nonaka on his side, because I don't want him to use, use the attack that he attacks everyone in the, in the proximity, and he can't counter it. Alright, so we're just gonna wait there for now. I mean, the more damage you do, the rest gets fine because he gets the counters off and he's able to, um, to parry you. And we're gonna have to get, um, we have to let Lizette heal Rusty at this point. That's why I'm kind of glad I, let, I had Lizette stay back a little bit. Now, let's go. All right, Keith, let's move you up. Kind of a slow start right now. Yeah, I, I, I know that. But okay. Well, thanks for coming to us. Next turn, we'll just take you out. Hey, you just booped us in the face. That's not nice. Alright, use another. Um, ooh, double clutch. Ooh, why did I use that one first? Because I can use a double clutch and that could lead to double death. Hmm, because he doesn't have the HP. Yeah, um, okay, we'll, we'll use that the next time. Because even if I move. No, 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 skill. Can I actually. Yeah, I can get behind him. So I always have to face his counter. It's time. That's gonna be fun. It's time. Yeah, so let's let's just do the regular skill of the backstab and get healed up. Cause it's the, the double clutch would have been nice because then we would have gotten the follow up attack and able to attack again, but this counter here Yeah, I don't I don't I couldn't survive Rusty is not gonna survive two of those. Alright, Rusty oh wow, they're both on low HP. Oh, but his defense is up now. All right, so Rusty, you're gonna wait there. Looking at the turn order. Oh no, no, you're not staying there, Rusty. Nope, you're getting the hell out of dodge. <laughs> no, your HP is too low. All right, that's fine. Line up. I have aerial. I have a tactic and attack all of you in one shot. All right, so yeah, I'm glad I got him out of there. Um, Whirlwind or Kaboom? Kaboom, indeed. Oh, we get two for the price of one. Definitely. Alright, maybe it'll give us a level up, too. And a lot of damage. Alright. So, yeah. Honestly, it, in hindsight, you may want to try grinding for orb fragments to make enough, um, element orbs for your entire party for these battles. So they can make them go a, a little bit faster. That's just the way I see it. All right. All right, so we're going to have, um... Oh, actually, is Rodolph something worth stealing on him? Oh, a portal ring! I'm glad I just checked that! Okay, yeah, so the priority now is to steal from Rodolph. Um, and not kill him. That ring will come in handy. I forgot about that. Ugh. All right, Popo, move up a little bit for now. All right, let's actually, can I... I have a sage... Oh, I don't actually... Just in case things go south. Use the Sage Stone, and it'll heal both, and... Yeah, use the Sage Stone now, even though it's gonna be a bit of a waste, it'll still, um, work on Rusty. So that's fine with me. Not much, but it's better than, uh, his, his previous state. Alright, Rodolph, so we're eight. Oh, Nonaka. Impressive. Oh, he's acting from a distance, okay, that's good. No, wait, she can still throw a knife at his face. Oh, it missed! Okay, the counter didn't do much. That's good. It's kind of funny, though. It's like, even though the animation looked like she was swung back, it made it look like her ninja skills had her dodge the attack, which I thought was pretty cool. Alright, uh, Rusty... Or, sorry, um... Does that fall back a little bit? And we're going to heal... We're going to heal Rusty. Okay, that's a nice way to put it. Oh, so close to level up. Okay, that's fine. Alright, can I... Only 28 damage. Uh, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Because then we'll have Rusty move back up. We'll have him do the, um... The, um, the... Ooh, that was two crits. I did not want you to go for that one, Nonaka. So, yeah. Nonaka, you can actually probably start moving, moving out. We don't need you here much longer. Alright, move her to her side like that. Hey, can you use an arrow? Can we get an arrow dodge? 
Okay, yeah, Popo also is gonna need some um, medical attention in a second. Alright, and Morty really can't do much here either. Alright, Rusty, you can now go back up to Rodolph. And let's use your mugging, your mug, to get that ring off of him, because that ring will do quite a lot for us. And, uh, and basically, when, when Rodolph attacks Rusty again, we're going to be able to just counter him and finish him off. Alright, oh, got the portal ring, nice. That allows us, that allows us to give us the ability to tele... Lizette's, not Lizette's. Um, Hilda's, Hilda's ability to teleport. Alright, you're basically um, about to kill yourself, Rodolph. And they did it. Rusty finally squared his beef off. He squared his beef with, with Rodolph. Not a level up yet. Alright. Ah, it has been a long time since I've enjoyed myself to this extent. That was pure, unadulterated battle. An exchange of sword between peers. For once, it was one has already passed along. It was a blessing beyond all measure. Rusty, be strong. Protect this world. Yeah, enjoy your internal sleep, you old bastard. I guess being defeated by Rusty was his way... Holy crap, that's a lot of them. Was his way to cope with, you know, what happened. His way to atone for his now, sins. At least in his own way. Um, I may have to have... I may have to use, um... Um, Popo's song... In a moment. Um... Can her kaboom? Actually, no, it can't. Okay. Um, okay, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna plan this out strategically. Strategic retreats are strategic nonetheless. So we're gonna use a... Mini heal on ourselves, because we are pretty much low on HP. And two random shots from those those archers can easily take us out. All right. Yeah. I kind of wish we could use our have the enemy come to us strategy, but it's not really gonna work. I think probably having Hilda in this battle would have been a smarter choice because we should have been able to teleport for us. But I think we have a decent team right now, especially since we're forced to have Keith in here. And of course, using focus again. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Diddly fantastic. Leave it to me. All right, Rusty. Again, we can all start making our way up. And I'm actually just gonna have um, Lizette Leave it to heal me. Rusty for the laughs because she's two experience points away from leveling up. So I want to get that level up for Lizette. Here I go. Even though he doesn't need it, we should get at least two experience, right? Yeah. Right, game. Good, we did. All right, level 35. Nice. My turn. All right, and we can't really do anything. We all we can keep doing is advancing forward. Okay, well that's fine. Oh, she can float, so that's not not too worry. Some. Ooh, I forgot we use her dolls to our advantage. Have the have the snipers focus on her dolls, if that's what actually comes up up there. I'll be honest. I kind of wish these fiends would start advancing forward towards us. All right, Popo. Alright, 82 damage. What, what would a... Uh, can the whirlwind reach it? No, it can't. Uh, the heart shot. Here I go. Won't kill it, but it'll do a substantial amount of damage to it. Here I go. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll even get a crit. Nope. Okay, that was wishful thinking, I know. Alright, so the archers are now going to... Okay, that one is... Okay, we're not, no one's within range of him, so... Or, yeah. All right, let's All right go. Alto, move up a little bit. So now, now, that, now that we have the entire team up here, we can now start focusing and basically Zerg rushing to the end. Now, let's go. All right. Uh, you can't really hit anyone, can you? Let's see, let's see. Can your sniper shot? Yes, it can. What is if you're low accuracy, dude? I even gave you aim orbs. And they all hit? Nice. Okay. Not gonna complain. All they all hit. They all made their mark. And he leveled up. Two levels up. This power proves I'll be king. Hey, you, you got two power up level up. So hey, who knows, man? Who knows? I may just have to use Lizette's song. Um, no, Lizette Popo's song in a second to attack everyone with um with the Earth stuff because you know I want everyone to to die. <laughs> Okay, so might as well some chip damage off on that. 
And I think let's see, we, we need to have the we have to have the song leader up to five though for it to actually be of any use to us. All right. Okay, they're advancing forward, sort of. Okay. Actually, one well placed one of Popo's kabooms who actually take all of them out. Oh, sweet breath! Darn it! I, I hate that move so much because it just makes it any allies just oh well it. Oh, it missed! Nice! And it hit your own ally. Uh, that's, that's the best type of irony. Okay, Butterfly Dream. Yeah. We create a stone doll. Awesome. Um, um, can we move, actually move up a little closer? Yeah. Okay, that would finish it off. Okay, let's finish this one off for now. Um, we're not, we're not in need of a stone doll right now. Oh, they all got crits. Nice. All right. All right, level thirty, Morty. Now I kind of wish that Morty could, her song was playing in the background. She does. I really like her song. I'm a bit upset I haven't had the best chance to use it properly. But oh well. Um, in the after game videos, we'll be doing a lot. Morty will be getting tons of love and attention, so that's gonna be great. Okay, it's not doing anything else. Not summoning more a an enemies. All right, let's go. How much else we can do right now instead we start marching? Alright, Popo. Um, you're ready. We don't have enough SP for a kaboom. Go figure. And we're so close to a level up. Okay, that's fine. Can we attack the monster? There we go. 108 damage. Um. I don't want to actually. How about a long shot? Ooh, 135, definitely over the long shot. So I know the priority is to go for the shadow, but I hate how like, these sleeper flowers up there. They have so much HP, and they take so much to take out. Uh, oh well. Okay, Archer gets to move again. Alright, knee knee indeed. Actually, I don't want to be standing up, up in front of this thing, because he'll just get a chance to attack again. Um, I, I, I would think, ooh... Fire art would, do, would, would be good. Knows I mistakes. It won't work. Oh, yeah, it won't work. Now, Shinobi Slash. It, it oh, yeah, it's because I have a or, I have the um, Earth Orb on her still. Fan for fantastic. Um, won't work, but at least we're going to be able to go turn invisible. Huh? Unless she, you know, gets attacked by the Sweet Breath again. Uh, oh, well. Right, oh, hey, Caltrop's a thing. Probably should have... Nah, we've only affected him, so yeah. Hey, okay, we're good so far. So far, so good. Leave it to me. All right, Rusty, advance. Advance, Rusty. So the priority is also to have Morty defeat her own shadow. I don't know what, I don't know what her shadow can do, but we're going to find out, and it's sniping. Yay, sniping for Rusty. I wish Rusty could just, like, throw a knife conveniently up in his general direction. That'd be great. All right, and it's it stings with Lizette. I keep I've been playing Mega Dimension Neptunia for so much lately. All I hear now is when she talks is Nepgear. Oh, I knew that day would come. Oh well, what can you, what, what can you do? All right, Rusty, you need to get that level up like now. All right, it's going for the distant attack. Don't even want to see that. Okay, it missed. Nice. Oh yeah, ooh, threw the knife right at him, right at his face. All right, Mr. Flower. Oh, great. If you feel, if you kill your own two allies, that'd be great. And if you can miss N uh, Nonaka and me, that'd be even better. Sleep immunity. Oh, that's unfortunate. Miss. Miss. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh wait, they're blocking the path. That's not something to cheer about. All right, let's go. All right, Alto. Um, you really can't do much, so let's not advance you too far up. We don't want to overextend ourselves. Overextension kills. All right, Popo, um... All right, 82 damage, yeah, can, let's, let's have these two fight off. She's actually close to leveling up, too. I forget, what does the Heavy Orb do? Oh, okay, no movement, but that doesn't really help us out in his case, because he just camps all day. Now, let's go. All right, let's actually go for this giant flower. All right, 67 damage, how about instead... Ooh, a flame shot. 
Oh! It'll hit all three- well, we'll hit allies, and it won't do much damage to those guys, so... Not worth doing. How about instead we'll use a sniper shot? On this thing. 101 damage, yeah, that's even better. So take out that giant stupid flower. The faster it's dead, the better we'll off we'll be. Because I have, I have this strange feeling that she's going to summon more stuff soon. Which is going to be great. Um... Nope, that will hit everyone. I don't want to do that. And if I use the knife throw, it's going to hit... It's, it's going to hit Nonaka. And it's not even going to It's not even going to kill that thing. So let's go for the... It's time. Yeah, go for the backstab. It'll get the instant kill on it. And it should level Rusty up, too. Alright, so I think our priority... Okay, I think we, now we can start prioritizing on um, moving out a little bit. My turn. All right, can we actually kill this thing without moving it's forward? Its oh, only 40 damage, though. Do you have any, like, um... Nope, just Earth Attacks. That's fine. Okay, um... This might be its weakness. Let's just hope that it's just crits. There. Nope, just weaknesses. Fantastic. I have a strange gut feeling that she's, the boss is just going to summon more of these stupid things in a moment. Me, me. All right, um, Killing Strike. It'll resist, but it'll be close to dying. That's all that matters. That should be great if it actually kills it. Nope, doesn't kill it. Yeah, that would probably have been too convenient. Alright, so now I have to have Lizette come up and... Well, she really can't do much either. Uh, this battle is kind of, at this point, getting to... This mowing her way through these enemies. And I think the boss is probably going to summon three more. Yep, yes, she is. Summoning familiar. So, yeah. This battle is now... Oh, she summoned them down there. Oh, yeah, we're, we're on our way over there, so that kind of makes sense. But, um, yeah, this battle has kind of gone to the point of mundaneness. So, you see what's happening, you get an idea of what's, gonna, what's going on. So, I'm actually going to cut ahead until we get to Morty. And so we can get, um... And so, so we can have more to more to feed her. So, or Morty defeats Shadow Morty. So, until then, I'll meet you guys back here in a moment. Alright, and we finally got Morty within range of taking out Morty. Yes, that took me quite a while to do. Um, I'll explain more about that in a second. But let's go and finish this off. Well, wait, there's a 10% chance of missing. Here I go. Oh, and they all hit, thank goodness. Ooh, we got the blackout. Nice. Ooh, and a nice level up for Morty. My power increased. Yes, it did. The special condition has been met. And the mission's clear. I'm glad I skipped the, um, all that part, all the battle stuff, because that would have taken way too long for it to be in this one episode. Because it kept, um, ooh, Rusty defeats Rodolph's reward. Ooh, cool. New knife for him. And I read a new. Oh, we got two rifles. Nice. But, um, yeah, a lot of stuff happened, and I just really couldn't get it all in a reasonable amount of time. I'm going to disappear. I'll be all alone. Alone in the desert, like always. No. Morty? You're wrong. You're a part of me. I'm sorry for leaving you behind here. Let's go together. I can come with you? You are my grief facing you... Facing you was too painful, so instead I chose to bury you in the desert. But now we, be we can become one. Thank you. The girl's crying. Oh, Morty, she accepted her true self, and it's, it's a happy moment. You're allowed to cry when you're sad. That's the, that's the only way you, you can, anyone can ever move, move forward. Cry until the tears run dry. Mortimort, you were so burdened by the grief that you were unable to even cry. I am at fault for that pain. I didn't want to remember that day. But I didn't want to forget either. I didn't want to forgive. That's why I left it here. All of the bad things. All the sadness. Hmm. But it's all back now. All my grief. That's why I can forgive you. And I can forgive him. More to more. The fire it's disappearing. A 
And so it goes back to the Sea of Sand once again. Morty, your qualia! It's shining. Where am I? Long time no see, Morty! Nikki! It's you, Nikki! You're finally whole again, huh? Mm-hmm. At last, I can come out. Who are you? I'm your predecessor. Because of the Shadow's presence, I was trapped within your qualia. We liked the Earth Score. Of course, that's why I came all this way. Save Alto with the Earth Score. I will. This is our last goodbye, Zen. I love you, Morty. I love you too, Big Sis. This is really feelsy. It honestly kind of touch. It's touching. I don't know. Actually, I know why it's touching. But of all four of them, Mortimer hits home the most in the, in the touching field. But hey, we've attained the Earth score. That gives us all four of the scores. Nikki, thank you. This is the Earth score. My song. A song just for me. We finally have all the scores. I did it. Good job! The score for the Celestial Hymn is now complete! All that remains is to hit Mother Qualia with it. The final battle is almost here. Yes, it is. As we have finished the last, the second and last mission time of this chapter. I'm okay now. Let's go, everyone. Yeah. Bastard. What is, what is it this time? Hmm. Hey, say something! What's wrong, Rusty? N nothing I just... Talking to yourself in the desert, eh? Have you gone insane? Wasn't talking to my... <sighs> what are you doing? Let's go, Rusty! Y yeah. Rusty. The desert is the edge of the world where all things end up. He'll be waiting for you. He'll be waiting for the day in the far future where he can see you again. I, I see. I wonder if I'll, if I'll have been able to forgive him by then. I hope you could. Hey, hurry up! I'll be I'll be right there. Oh yeah, Keith. Hmm. What is it, girl? <sighs> Thanks. I. I just do what's in the contract. Goodbye, Kajvastan. Upon inheriting Nikki and Yukina's wishes, more and more to tame the Earth score. You collected all of the scores. You've attained the Celestial Hymn! Awesome! Alright, and we head home with, all, with the entire Celestial Hymn in hand, and everything and all regrets buried away. Deep below the sand. Looks like we finally collected them all. The conditions are met. All that's left is to attack Mother Qualia. What shall we do now, Alto? Invade the moon? Not yet. I'm sure everyone's tired from the trip. We'll rest for today, then prepare for tomorrow and beyond. A wise decision. Good work, everyone. That's it for today. Be sure to rest up. What are you doing? Conductor Alto. You didn't come here to fight, did you? Why are you here? I do not know. A battle will begin very soon. And we will try to kill each other. I'm sure we will. I am a false angel made by my master. Created by my master. Existing for my master. 
And yet... I have been observing all of you. Despite your situation, you never give up. You fight. You move on. I have seen your way of life. Even thought it was... beautiful. Giselle. Alto, is this an unnecessary emotion? No. It's the most important one. I see. I am going now. Giselle, follow your heart. I do not have a heart. Those without hearts don't say things like that. <laughs> Farewell, Alto. Until we fight again. Giselle. Alright, that was kind of tense. I think Giselle is a very tragic character so far. But hey, we enter into our free time, the last one of this chapter. Sup, Alto? Uh, Dr. Veronica, you're going to tell us what we're going to do next. We're doing next. Yes, that is the plan. But we've been constantly on the move, so I figured I'd give my squad a bit of time off. Gotcha, I'll let them know. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll get going. Alright. So then, next time on Let's Play Stellar Glow, we shall be enjoying our last free time before we head and storm the moon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check the other parts in the series and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off. <laughs>